Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Paradoxic and um, all over social media since it was public, publicly announced um, almost everyone, you know, fans and celebrities alike have been sharing their tributes and their condolences and their thoughts on um, on the passing of Chadwick Boseman and until now Marvel hadn't really said much. I mean, they, they shared their own thoughts, they shared their own kind of um, little uh, tidbits here and there, but now they've actually released a proper tribute video um, celebrating uh, Chadwick's time at Marvel, working with them on Black Panther and Infinity War and Endgame and all the work he did. So I figured we could watch this one together. I think I, I, I definitely haven't seen it yet. I've, um, I've seen a few other people have been sharing their thoughts on it and sharing it all around Twitter, so I figured we could check it out together. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically all I've got, so don't really know what to say. I think everything I can think of I've mentioned already, but I'm still... It, 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 it hasn't sunk in for me properly just yet, and it hasn't, you know, it's, it's still kind of taking me a while to get used to hearing those words or reading those words um, and actually accepting that it's... Um, that it's actually a thing, but I guess that's usual. I guess that's that's kind of like normal when it comes to a loss, um, you know. And it's it's simultaneously not personal, but it's also personal at the same time. I like I I I like, I I you know I'm just a fan. I never knew him personally, but it's still hitting me harder than I expected, um, you know. And it's I, I I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like it, it's just shattering it's, it's a shattering kind of shock so yeah but it's the official uh marvel tribute video for chadwick boseman so let's see it and let's watch it together It was Chadwick Boseman's performance in 42 that really made us take a second look. There is, there is such an honor and dignity to the way that he played Jackie Robinson that we knew we needed for the character of T'Challa, the Prince of Wakanda. Chadwick is an amazing actor and we thought would fit perfectly with the MCU. Black Panther himself, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chadwick Boseman. This is an amazing announcement. This is an amazing way to meet him. Chadwick, you know, he has a lot of uh, depth. It was amazing as an audience member to, to, you know, to look into his eyes and see what's going on. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one singer. Right. A lot of the things about the character are also true about Chad. He's very knowledgeable. He's an athlete, you know, martial artist. He's had a lot of experience playing roles that come with a lot of weight, you know. So I think he has a he has a person, he has a guy, has a lot of has, has a lot of weight to him. I think he brings all of that that stuff to the role. But not to mention that he's incredibly, you know, incredibly gifted as an actor and as a performer, and also as a storyteller in his own right. I am not king of all people. I am king of Wakanda. Yes, you are. It is my responsibility and you always will be. to make sure you our people be. are safe. Because he is so prepared as an actor, and because his character is sort of flawless on set, it forced the other actors who had scenes with him to kind of raise their game and go, okay, this guy is not taking anything for granted. He's really leaving it all out there. So we have to keep up with him. What does it? Chadwick bring to the character. I mean, he's regal and grounded, and he brings a gravitas to it. So all of this feeds his T'Challa, and uh, I think he wore the crown with dignity. He really did. He 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 I've known him since I was about like 17, so I've known him for a really long time um, back in New York. He did the work, obviously. You know, I just think he did an incredible job being true to the, to the character. I had a great time with Chadwick, just warmth and camaraderie. 
came into it, of course, with a great deal of respect for his previous work. So when I looked at him with proud eyes, they had such a great relationship together. They were as mother and and also as as comrade and colleague and Angela. It is your time to be king. I mean, Chadwick is just a powerhouse. He really is so talented. Every single movie he's made, there's there's kind of this internal, almost nobility. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. He's such a soulful actor and um, so professional, so present. He really gives so much to the other person, and he's awesome. And his presence on set, I think, makes that kind of raises the stakes a little bit for everybody. Chadwick is a, he's a really smart, interesting, dynamic guy. And I think he was not overwhelmed, but very surprised and somewhat taken aback by the amount of love. It ceased to become just about how well he inhabited the role and all that stuff. It's become part of our culture just as a symbol. This welcome is, is one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. It's fun to watch just what it means to people. At times, like I, in my head, I'll be like, well, what does this do for the world? Like, actually, what is it? You know, is it actually valuable in, in this climate? And I have it to really say, is. yes, it actually is. It really, Not really because is. It, it makes people escape. I think when done right, um, it gives people hope. I found that it means a lot. He will, he will always be our king. He will always be our king. Okay, um... Oh, fuck. kind of dried up my tear ducts for a day or two since I actually heard the news. Um, actually, I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't actually cry. I can only just sit and wallow in this sorrow. <coughs> um, but, you know, I think some of those, um, I think, you know, a lot of those interviews were definitely, um, I think most, if not all of those interviews, were from the past. Like, you know, um, like the, the, the ones with the Avengers actors were definitely filmed back way back when like civil war was happening because i could tell from the way everyone looked but i think maybe the cast of black panther was you know filmed after that for black panther or some somewhat more recently but either way either way it was great to see um everyone actually sharing their thoughts and their own experiences um a lot of people have been doing that and a lot of actors and you know colleagues of his and celebrities alike people people who had the chance to meet him in some in in some capacity are always sharing, you know, even how the smallest of their memories with him affected them so profoundly and so positively. So seeing that alone makes my heart break. But yeah, and I think it's you know it, it's true. I think you know even like having watched the movie for the first time, you know, he really brought T'Challa to life. I think I, I say that without having read the comics, but even without having read the comics, I, 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 you know, it's like the movie is a celebration of African culture and, you know, Chadwick and Lupita and Dana and everyone involved, like, you, you could tell just how much work went into this and how much work Chadwick put into this movie to make sure that it was something that people could look up to and celebrate and something that could be something that would stand the test of time for sure you know future generations will always look back on this movie and think about you know what a kind of positive and you know just 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 how impactful of a movie it was for the entire marvel fandom and for um and for people all around the world and you know, it was a movie for everyone. You know, it was a movie. For, it was a movie that celebrated African culture, but by no means was it a movie exclusive to that audience. And you know, everyone, you know, could find something to enjoy with it. You know, if it was like 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 it was a superhero movie, a um, an African movie, it was just like a, you know, like a, a a basket full of all these different themes and 
stories and character developments and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think seeing this movie for the first time way back when, it definitely changed stuff. It definitely changed stuff for me, for everyone else, and it's... They, they, they think that there, there aren't very many words that could do it justice, but you know, it was definitely the first Marvel movie of its kind that I that, that I, I actually walked away from being properly speechless in terms of in terms of both story and character, like like not just looking at it as a Marvel movie, but thinking about who was in it and what it kind of showed you as an audience member, and you know, like what it worked, what what it worked to do as a movie, what kind of um, barriers it tried to break as a movie so yeah it's 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 something it's something and i think it does it does hurt to think that you know like black panther 2 we don't we, we don't know where marvel stands on it we don't know where marvel stands on it i think you know i'm like i tried so i i've tried you know like a, a, a like kind of hard not to think too much about it in the sense that you know black panther 2 like I, I've, I've tried not to think about it in the sense of oh what could happen to it what, what are they going to do with it and instead focused on the fact that it, that um, on the fact that chadwick was able to bring us something as great as black panther 1 so yeah and even you know his presence in his presence in infinity war was great his presence in endgame was just you know him him and shuri and um and Okoye being the first ones to walk through the portal, like, you know, I, I, I still look back at endgame reaction videos and see people cheering once they realize that, you know, T'Challa and his army are the first ones to actually show up, you know, they are the first ones to arrive as hope and backup in that story and in that scene, and seeing everything build up from there is just immense, and I think, looking back, I think it's even greater that they actually showed it, you know, like, like from, from a story point of view, it, it's even greater that they actually built stuff up from that um fr from that point onwards like in, in, in infinity war um t'challa is the one steve goes to for help and then in endgame t'challa is the one who who once again comes to his aid and brings everyone along back with him so you know it's it's um it's great but yeah Ch Ch chadwick put so much into this character he really made it his he really 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 made it his and you know as much as, as much as i do think it's a shame we'll, we'll, we, that we'll never see him in this role again. I'm glad that we got to see him in this role at all. I'm glad we, we, we got him in this movie at all. I'm glad that he was able to, you know, bring some kind of, um, some kind of fruition to this story. I think, you know, it, it, it goes without saying that, the, 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 you know, there were more, more stories from T'Challa's um, arc in the comics and T'Challa's background in the comics that, you know, we could have very easily seen Chadwick, um, portraying but as we see now life doesn't always work out that way and it's a damn shame but i'm glad we got to see him at all i'm i'm, I'm glad for that more than i am anything else i'm glad we got to see him as that at all um and you know even with black panther one he helped so many people he helped so many people um you know he went behind even behind the scenes he, he, he was going and he, he was visiting children in hospital um and giving them all, all, all the different gifts and you know, giving them his time and, you know, giving them his attention and showing them that he cared. And, yeah, this, um, it's not, it's, it's not just that it's not going to be the same MCU without him, literally. It's also just not going to be kind of the same world without him. I think he, he affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And because of that, not only will he never be forgotten, he also, you know, it, it, it's just not going to be the same without him at all. So, yeah, um, but it does remind me I need to check out a lot more of his other work. Um, I do know of a few things he's been in. I am I think there could be more. <coughs> I, th I, th I think there could be more. But whatever there is, I am most definitely going to see him. Did they mention 42? He played Jackie Robinson in 42. So I don't really know much about that movie besides that it's like a sports-themed movie. It's about um, baseball and stuff. So I need to go check that out. I need to go check that out. But from how they discussed it in this, it was his breakout role. I think I, 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 I didn't know that much. I didn't know that much. I didn't know it was his breakout role. It was the one that actually boosted him into Hollywood and actually made him get noticed by a lot more people. And then Kevin Feige um, and the people at Marvel saw 42 and saw how good he was in that. And then that's, that, that was one of the defining kind of factors of him being chosen to play T'Challa. So if anything, that's a sign that, you know, people who haven't seen 42 need to go and watch 42. And then he was in... 
other stuff, uh, Defy of Bloods and uh, Twenty One Bridges, and just 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 a whole smattering of other projects. And I think that, that I think that's what I it, it's it's one of the things that shocks me, but one of the things that I admire about him the most, even through all of this, all all, all the issues he faced, all the, all the struggles he went through, he he never stopped working. Um, he cared about he cared about his work, his craft. He cared about actually, you know, leaving people with memories of him and the characters he played, and you know, sharing stories and telling stories and being the best at his job that he could be. Um, so you know, his his work ethic was without a doubt admirable, admirable as all hell. Um, and it kind of shows the approach he had to life, knowing what was on the horizon. It shows the approach to life he had knowing that his days were very likely numbered, that, you know, he didn't want to waste time garnering anyone's pity for him. He didn't want anyone feeling sorry for him or wishing him well. He just wanted to do... He just wanted to make the best of whatever time he had left. He wanted to work. He wanted to be with... He wanted to spend what was left over with his family. Um, and... Yeah, it just it goes to show them what kind of man he was. He cared about you know his work and the people affected by it, and he wanted to make people happy with it. So, yeah, yeah, may he rest in power. May he rest in power and peace. And may he finally find peace. May he finally find peace. All the all the all the all the surgeries and the chemo sessions he had, all all, all the kind of m- m- medical, um sessions he had, may he finally find peace. It can't have been easy going through all of that whilst also filming and training and travelling the entire world doing press tours. But, you know, he did it for the fans. He did all that stuff for them. He wanted to share the love with the fans. And so he did. So yeah, may he rest in peace. May he rest in absolute peace. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. So I'm so thank you guys for watching this one with me. Thank you for watching with me. I yeah, share your thoughts, any thoughts you have on Chadwick's legacy and what you will miss about him, and any favorite movies of his you have, any any favorite roles you want to talk about or share. Comments are open. Have at it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you all next time. Kinda forever. <laughs>